the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. Man, I, 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 I own the hill. If it's just preaching to myself, the fact is that God is, has a word for every last one of us. And, and, and I, I, I encourage you, like I said, the winter church service this week. Uh, we had this study on Sunday, and we went to church service on Sunday, and the man of God was, the Holy Spirit was using a man of God to talk to you. Glory to God. I'm telling you, he's talking to us all the time because we need it, you know. And and so what I had this week, we talked about uh, the unforgiving uh, servant. And, and, and the, the question I had for you, the title for this study, which is started with a question. And the Here's the question right here. Check this out. <laughs> it says, <laughs> the title is, How Can You Be Judgmental With All That Debt? That's those last two lines in this slide. The bottom line. How can you be judgmental toward other people, really, with all that debt? And when we talk about debt, we talk about sin. And so I'm trying to say is that we really need to work on working our own salvation. That's what the scripture says. Work out your own salvation. And, and let's not be judgmental to one another. But let's stop trying to sit there encouraging one another. Because we all need encouragement. We don't need to walk in condemnation. We need to walk in forgiveness. We need to walk in grace. We need to walk in mercy. He gave us mercy. He gave us grace. We should give one another grace. That's the, that's the gist of the, of the stuff, topic this week. Give mercy to one another. Forgive one another. Because that is what he wants us to do. That is what he did for us. God so loved the world, John 3, 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And we use the Lord's Prayer and we talk about it in the Lord's Prayer that he forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. We have to be able to give, forgive one another. Because we walk in together. And most of us have accumulated debt prior to coming to the kingdom. And we accumulate debt in the kingdom. Some of you sit there and act like you don't. You're lying. But the Bible says in John, we put that in our title today, that if you say you're not in sin, you are a liar. Because we know the scripture said all of sin comes short of so this study is about the fact that don't be judgmental one another, but let's encourage one another to do right. Let's encourage one another to change. Let's encourage one another, but give each other grace and mercy. That's the gospel, and that's what you're called to do. Give mercy. Give mercy to one another. Love one another. Preach the good news, not the bad news. You, you're not called to hurt somebody. You're called to love one another. Amen. God bless you. I hope you like this message. We'll break it down into part A, B, C, D, or whatever it takes to finish it. But you'll love it because I love it. And I love you. God bless you. And we'll see you. And we'll see you. Enjoy the video. Example that we still okay. see today. 32. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, yeah, you I forgave thee all, all that debt mm -hmm. because thou desirest me. <laughs> Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, mm. even as I had pity on thee? Mm. 
and his Lord was wroth and delivered him to the tormentors till he should pay all that was due unto him. Yes, sir. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you if ye from your hearts forgive not everyone his brother their trespasses. Man, you you talking about this kingdom principle that is centered around the kingdom of God yes, sir. and the kingdom of this world and it, it shows that the difference is compassion yes sir and forgiveness yes sir that those are are, are two fruits that will distinguish the difference in these outcomes. Exactly. That's what we're trying to say. That's the whole point I'm trying to bring out here. That's what he said is, how can you be judgmental of all that debt that you have? How would you, why would you take that debt back on? Because you know what that means, right? If, because if, the, the 14, 15 of the Lord's Prayer, not the Lord's Prayer, but after the Lord's Prayer, if you forgive others, your Father will forgive you. That's a, that's a guidance, right? That's a law, right? That's a principle, right? That is his will. But 15, 16 says, if you, Matthew 6, y'all, verse 16, if you do not forgive others, you have a father will forgive you. Yeah. And that ain't, that ain't something that was, uh, you know, I have some people talking about they, they changed the Bible, they manipulated the Bible. Uh, they ain't manipulated that, that principle. And yet people still would do the thing. I mean, when you sit there, like I said, go back again with the, uh, uh, that you kill it, get modern day, you have no compassion. Yeah. To shoot somebody 40 sometimes, you have no compassion. And yet you want compassion. You want your fellow officers to give you compassion. You would change a lie, you would change your testimony, and give a false report in order to give compassion, to get to your forgiveness, mm -hmm. to say that you squared away. You ain't fix somebody out of their home because they can't pay, and if you, you know, it's my job, I got to do it, really. You, you would do, I don't worry, everybody, I'll give a count of yourself, every deed that we oh, yeah. did to one another, Without no compassion, show no compassion, no compassion was given to you. Love came. But you didn't want to give love. You want to give hate. That's why I want to be able to talk about. That's why I want to thought it's important to bring that out. You can't keep doing this. You have to take the principles he gives. And that's what even the Lord's Prayer, you know, we use it, right? It's telling you every day. Forgive me of my debts as I forgive my debtors. That's telling me that if I can't forgive my debtors, you, you, you're not gonna forgive me. Uh -huh. That's, he's, you see what I'm saying? That's saying it daily. You should have compassion on people daily. That's all we want to be. So that's why I wanted to show the story. That's why I wanted to, 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 to make people understand is the love of God. The mercy of God, great. But again, the law was given by Moses, but grace and mercy came by Christ. The law was black and white. You, there was no the, the way to sin was death in the law. They would have killed you if you committed adultery in the law. They had the right to. In most cases, they, yeah, yeah. If, if they wouldn't kill David, but they would have killed. They would have killed somebody else. <laughs> Feel who you are, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's why I think it's so important for us to, to, to be truthful, to love one another. Uh, and, 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 and even this right here says walk in the light, right? Look at this. Uh, and then we're gonna wrap it up with this this is the last one. I wanna I wanna cover with this. This is not a parable, this is a, a guidance <laughs> by Paul. It's a, uh, no, John, excuse me, John, you know, the one that Jesus loved, right? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the brother said, I ain't telling you he love you. I'm just telling you I know he loved me. And that's basically what that's how he was right there. It's like the one who Jesus loved, right? <laughs> what is first John? What, what, what does it say, brother? Yeah, but before you go on, remember John wrote that book. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote it. He wrote it. But but you know, if you if you look at it, he did say he wasn't saying he didn't love everybody else. He just said, I know he loved me. Just how I read that interpret. He loved me. And I don't know about the rest of y'all. Maybe y'all maybe they feel like he loved me, but he loved me. And that's that's I think that's the gist of what Paul I mean, John was trying to say. Yeah. But he said right here in the scriptures again, why we need to be forgiving one another. In first John 1 5, what we got? Since this then is the message which we have heard of him and declared unto you mm-hmm. that God is light. God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. Come on now. If God we say that we have fellowship with him Come on and walk in darkness, uh-huh. we lie uh-huh. and do not the truth. Right. Now, Brother Asa, before you go any further, does that mean when you were, when you slip up and fall, fell, does that mean that you're walking in darkness and you're no. not fellowshipping with him? This is the difference. If you're practicing okay. darkness, yes, then you have no fellowship. Mm-hmm. But if you if you stumble in, if you slip, mm-hmm. and you do not uh, repent or or have compassion enough to ask for forgiveness, yes, sir. Then I think that then the the uh, then there is a lie. I think and the so. Truth. Yeah, I think so. I do. Uh, I don't worry. We have that grace and that mercy. But it's like you yeah. say, you keep standing in there. Uh, you you lying. You're not in the truth. Because he wants you. To, I think in John, right, sixteen, not just sixteen, but that that section, he said you come to the light. He said darkness yeah. the evil loves darkness. For those who want to come to the light. The deeds are manifest. Yeah. You know, light, like sunlight, is a sanitizer. And <clears throat> when you go to the light, it it sanitizes you. It removes uh, parasites okay. and, and, and germs and, and diseases. Okay you know, and uh, things that are ungodly. And so, yes, we go to the light Mm. for sanitation's sake. Exactly, exactly, come on now. Stay in the light, Christ and I'm the light of the world. Yes, sir. Seven, uh, one seven. But if we walk in the light. If we walk in the light. As he is in the light. Uh We have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Wow. If we say that we have no sin, uh-huh. we deceive ourselves. Deception. And the truth is not in us. I mean, that, that right there, <laughs> that should let everyone know <laughs> that there is none that is without sin. And so, here we go, 70 times 7. Exactly. Exactly. 70 times 7. Yeah. To the king. Yeah. (laughs) Now look at this, verse 9. If we confess our sins, Mm -hmm. he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Now, now who sounds like who is confessing it to? This is to our Father. Yeah, you see, you see the difference. Yes. Because we confess the, to, confess them to the king. Uh, we used to go back to the last parable. We, yes, I mean, sir. the last, the last uh, incident. The last about incident. The, the, the servants. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> it 
if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins He's and faithful. to cleanse us from all, all unrighteousness. He's faithful. And he's put us in the cleansing process. Okay, man. Yes. I love it. I love it. What you got here? If we say that we have not sinned, oh, come on. Now. We make him a liar. That H should be capitalized. Yes, sir. And his word is not in us. Come on. Isn't that something? So that one so, said you get all mad and frustrated with somebody. But but this is the thing. How can you be a child of the most high mm. if you say that you have not sinned? Mm. Wow. How can you? How can you? The, it, you cannot be. And that's what people want to hear. They want to hear that you Because the, the, the word that. says that God is not a man mm -mm. so that he should lie. Right. And therefore, his word does not exist within us, meaning his word, we know that his word is Yeshua. Yes, sir. And then Yeshua is not in us. Come on, that yeah, because we act like we, we walked on water. We, oh, well, some of us act like we can walk on water with Christ. Yeah. And then, and then condemn somebody else. Opposed to being humble, people. That's all I'm trying to say. We can be humble enough to, to to, to forgive one another. And if we can do that, I think we can we can make it. We can keep being built, encouraging one another, building one another up. But no, we want to be, I'm sanctified. I, I got my act together and you are, you are a sinner. You are ungodly. You are unrighteous. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to be around you. Yeah. But you forget the fact is that Christ died for the ungodly. Yeah. And based on that script we just read, all of us have been <laughs> You can't, look, you can't make God lie by saying you Come have on. a sin. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. You can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. That's all he's trying to get us to do. So, you know, we wrapped it up. The fact is that we should be showing compassion. Yeah. Compassion falls within the, the fruit of the spirit, love. Compassion is a form of love, right? That's all we're trying to say. The good also, I, I wanted to say this because it just came to mind. We're not saying to deny that you're a sin or to claim the sin. We're saying claim the forgiveness. Yes, sir. Claim the forgiveness. Walk in the forgiveness. Walk in the redemptive work. Claim that. Claim Amen. the redemptive Not, you know, uh, 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 boast mm -hmm. in the fix. No. In the restoration. No. Right. Don't dwell on the sin at all. At all. You move directly to pleading for compassion mm -hmm. and favor and forgiveness yes. and move on in that. Do not dwell mm -mm. Mm -mm. in the sin. Do Come not on, stay bro. within the sin. Come on now. Stay within the redemptive work of Yeshua. Yes, sir. And keep moving forward. Come on. Grab a hold of that plow. Throw that yoke, his yoke on you. Come on now. And move forward. Yeah. And then I like the other part too. Is maybe as you, as you say, what I'm saying is, he's faithful and just to forgive you. Just take it to him. Yeah. I know you. I know we understand why you would take it to some people because some people ain't gonna forgive you no matter what. Yeah. You know, even though they mess it up on the principles of the kingdom, right? Yeah. You, you know, ask for forgiveness, forgive. and 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 you know, and and truly your compassion of this you know for committing the sin for the person you sinned against mm -hmm. should should move the person mm -hmm. to forgiveness but if not it has already moved god it moved god who's faithful but if you're not a friend, he's faithful faithful and just yes sir and that's all people want that's what it clearly that's what we're supposed to be, be God. Yes. 
every last one of us. I'm too, I'm too, I gotta humble myself. Because I, it's it's I, yeah. look it's 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 a simple but yet hard thing to do but if but what makes it that way is if we're walking in the flesh yeah. but if we're walking in the spirit yes sir we will not fulfill mm. the lust of the flesh which is to be unforgiving unforgiving yeah uncompassionate yeah and that, I think that I like the other part. Uh, both those two put, go together on it. Unforgiven and uncompassionate. Yeah. And, and yet he gave us forgiveness. He gave us compassion. Yeah. That's the gospel. That's the truth. And you all ungodly people that came into godliness and righteousness. If you have chose Christ and if you be in Christ. But a tree is known by his fruit. Amen. That's fruit. There you go. So y'all check your fruit. Because I'm telling you, God loves you. God forgives you. I yes. forgive you. I forgive myself. I don't know about y'all. I forgive myself. Yeah, because that's I can't important. Forgive myself. That's important. Yeah. You, yeah. you have to understand who you are mm. 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 through Yeshua. I through Christ. Come on now. Through you, yeah. you, 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 It's imperative. And that is walking in the spirit. That's Knowing who spirit. you are is walking in the spirit. Knowing, knowing the authority and power that you have within you hmm. that has been given to you and knowing the compassion and forgiveness that God has for you. Hmm. That's what I love. That's the Walk in that and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh and and there and there is the difference between those who are in this world and of it and and those who are in this world and not of it and not of it and you know people they say that's why they say don't be boasting that i think that's where the problems people are giving us because they boasting in their 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 forgiveness they're boasting in their righteousness. They're boasting yeah. in their godliness. And, and, and man's right. That's all you got. Not God's it, righteousness and man's righteousness. Exactly. I think that's what the point is. That's what people lose focus on. They're too busy trying. I'm just telling you people, I'm talking about it. Don't get it. All of us have that tendency, but we got to sit there and recognize forgiveness and grace and mercy. Period. Amen? Amen. All right, good brother. I, I appreciate you giving some revelation to to the word I, I think i think you like not knowing what it's going to be until you see it it, it, <laughs> it, 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 it gives, gives a different perspective of it hey it, it all i do is whatever the, whatever the spirit puts in my heart it the just comes light. out yeah it yeah it just comes out you know <laughs> his word is hidden in my heart there you go that's that's the key to it Hey, so I want to have a uh, good week. So you, you like I said, you retired. So you, you don't, you don't have to get up and catch the eight o'clock, nine o'clock <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, I, I have a job. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> yeah. It may, it may not be one of this world, but I have a job. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> and the children are out of school now. Your son is out now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So enjoy your time. Enjoy your time and time. Benefit from it because it is a blessing. Yeah. God gave you that gift. Take it. Amen. You know, and take care of your health. Amen. All right. Amen. Well, I'll see you next week. Uh, yeah. And what we'll do is uh, close out. We'll do a little quick. Y'all know you've seen some of my videos lately. Yeah. We'll do like I, I saw your intros. <laughs> uh, I, I don't. I don't quite make it to the to the closeout because as soon as I <laughs> as soon as I hear me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. I'm like, ah, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> hey, look, a lot of cases when we when we do messages as you go forward, it was it's not just for the people. It's for you. Oh yeah, I know. It's it's if for. Like, I, I hear. I I actually, <laughs> I hear was coming, coming out, and it blows me away sometimes. <laughs> it's like, am I actually? Are these words coming out of my mouth? <laughs> it's like this. 
that's why I like, I think I, I'll, I'll pattern with you anyway, is I, I don't know when you're going to talk about it today. <laughs> <laughs> if I had time to talk about it, I could have formulate all kinds of opinions. Yeah, then, it, then it, 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 it will be us, more <laughs> us, and, and, and less God, you know, <laughs> or, you know, less Holy Spirit. Right, because you prepare for it then. You, yeah. You the preparation comes in. So I like this form format. Yeah. So. This is uh, great. God bless you. You take care. Bless Have a good week. All right. Bye. 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 Amen. God bless all of you. I think it was a great topic for us to chew on, just like the one there. What must I do to inherit eternal life? This one was about how can you be judgmental with all of the debt that you have? And that's why we use that scripture. We use the, we, we came from, uh, uh, what was it, Matthews 18. And we went from, I think it's all the way from 21, yeah, from 1821 to 30, let me see right here, make sure I get like 35, 21 and 35. And we're talking about the parable of the unforgiven servant. And the fact is that he was forgiven tons of debt, just like all of us have tons of debt. And yet he couldn't forgive his own fellow brother or servant and who owed him such a small amount compared from a talent to a pence, talents of thousands of gold, weight of gold or silver. A pence is basically a copper. Probably about two week wages, and yet he couldn't forgive him. After he just got forgiven, I mean, I don't know about you, a lot of us, if you win the lottery and stuff, you'd be like, I ain't thinking about $40 you owe me, or $50 you owe me, or $10 you owe me, or $100, or $200, or $1,000. I just got a million, millions of dollars, and, and, and your debt is forgiven. That's how you should take that approach. But some people don't take that approach. And they really need to work on it. Amen. All right. So have a great week. And uh, we'll see you when we see you. Amen. God bless you. Jesus, remember, you're Jesus, Yeshua, is Lord. And we got a compassionate Father who is faithful and just and forgives of our sins and will work with us on our strongholds because we all got different strongholds that we got to work on. And because we got different strongholds, let's not put one another down. Amen. Let's sit down work and encourage one another. Amen. God bless you. Oh, before I go, don't forget, subscribe, man, a woman. <laughs> if you like the video, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. If you like it, you want to make a comment, go ahead and do that as well. Let us get right. Let's make sure we're doing the thing that makes a difference and preaching the gospel we do the call to do the commission. But to give energy and to keep building up on this platform. Subscribe. And also make a comment if you like. If you don't like it, go ahead and do that too. It's all right. I'd rather hear from you. And that's all I'm, that's all I'm called to do when you told me to do. So God bless you and I'll see you later. God bless. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.